Hey everybody, Dr. Ryan Hewitt here. Uh, I know most of you, if not all of you, are working from home in the, this last week and for the foreseeable future. So I wanted to connect with you and give you some tips on how to set up your home office so you're not completely destroying yourself while we're taking this little break from getting adjusted. Um, and in the future, this will help you a ton as far as um, adapting your workstation to yourself and instead of adapting yourself to your workstation. Most people don't have ideal setups from home, so I'm gonna walk you through some tips here, okay? So number one, most people that have desks usually, the desks are gonna be about 30 inches from the floor, all right? So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna set up your chair so that you're bringing your shoulders and your elbow and your forearm to 90 degrees here. So you can see that this is set up a little bit high here. See how my shoulders are shrugged and my hands are above my elbow. Over time, that's gonna cause strain in the neck, shoulder, as well as the arms and hands. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prop my butt up with some pillows here, and I'm gonna put one behind me for my lumbar spine, okay? You can see how that's propped me up now. There you go. So now my shoulders are relaxed and my forearms are at 90 degrees. Now the next thing you wanna do is if your feet are dangling and they're not touching the floor, it's always a good idea to have either a footstool or something that you can place so that you're also 90 degrees at your waist, okay? Now let's talk about your desk setup. So with a laptop, ideally what you wanna have is some sort of kickstand like this. Oh, you can see that this is, uh, hasn't been used for a while. So I have this handy dandy kickstand to put my laptop at eye level. So you always wanna have the screen at eye level here. You can always just put reams of paper or a box underneath your laptop. Um, or make sure your screen is elevated to eye level. If you have two screens, make sure the screen that you primarily use is in front of you. If you use two of them, make sure they're front and center. Now you wanna make sure you have the keyboard, okay, right at hand level here as they're, my wrists are resting, resting on the desks. And also make sure you have your mouse directly to the side of the keyboard. Because what you wanna make sure you're doing is you're moving your mouse, okay, from the elbow and not from the shoulder. Also, it's a good idea to make sure you have a headset if you're going to be using the phone often so you're not cradling the phone on your ear. Always make sure you have some water at your station and that you're getting up at least every 30 to 45 minutes. If you drink enough water, you're gonna to need to get up to pee anyway. Um, every 30, 45 minutes, move around. Also, if you're lucky enough, you'll also have got yourself a stand-up desk. This one is a stand-up sit-down desk, and this will go all the way up, okay, to where you see here, the same principles apply with my shoulder and my elbow, okay? See how that's nice and eye level here. Keyboard is nice and relaxed. I'm at, with a good posture here, okay? If you don't have a stand-up desk, we got this one at Costco, I believe. Um, there's also Vera desks where you can actually put a setup on top of your sit-down desk and make it a stand-up. Lots of solutions out there. I hope that was helpful, guys. I'm gonna send out two more videos after this one. The next two are gonna show you how to make sure that you're taking care of your upper and your lower body to prep yourself pre-workstation and also throughout the day um, as you're getting up and you want to stimulate your joints. So look for those videos. Hopefully you guys have a great day. See you in the next video.